ticks are killing cows in Arkansas, and there's no vaccine. I've lost four cows this year. I've lost about 12 cows. Drive up and just find one that wasn't alive anymore. There was around 50 cows in that pasture, and he had, he had lost 14. It's not the typical Texas cattle tick that's taking down livestock, but a new one, the Asian longhorn tick. It has been confirmed in eight Arkansas counties. I noticed that Newton County is not called out to be a hot spot, but I've heard it to be there. And who knows really where it's at for sure if people aren't testing or don't know about it. I've had one cow that I tested for it. She showed positive that she ended up getting up after treatment. You know, everything else is, has died. As far as actual confirmed positives, we've had 20 to 25. As far as animals that we've lost that we are you know, attributing to the disease are gonna be 50 or a few more. All those have been in Carroll County. In and around Harrison, close to 20 farmers have filed claims over the past year just in Boone County. Some have lost up to 17 head. Just kind of a new deal. We didn't know what it was. Nobody could figure out what it was and until we finally started testing. I got a friend that, that, you know, I'd say he keeps his cattle as, in good a shape as anybody does, and he's lost several. Asian longhorn ticks are not normally found in the Western Hemisphere. Researchers at Rutgers University believe they arrived less than a decade ago on the East Coast on a livestock ship from or near China. All of the ticks found so far are self-cloning females. They reproduce without mating, and each one can lay several thousand eggs. As of right now, there's no vaccine for the disease process, just against the particular tick, trying to reduce the numbers of that tick population. Most of these vaccines, be it black leg, respiratory, you're giving those vaccines hoping to build up an immunity to the particular organism. You know, the vaccine that's available, that's an actual vaccination against the tick that covers this disease process. The hope of the vaccine is that you reduce the tick numbers in the herd and on the animals, but you know, there's the last I talked to the university, there's over 40 animals that are also a carrier of the Asian longhorn tick that don't, you know, show signs of the disease. So, you know, you got white-tailed deer all over the place that are carrying this tick around. You may vaccinate your cattle, but then the tick's just gonna go use the deer as an intermediate host and populate. It's always had the same symptom. Just go downhill, always look the same, regardless of the age or the quality of the cow and uh, the outcome's been the same. We started blaming it on milk fever, actually, to start with. The cows had baby calves, got down, really just kind of acted like they had baby, you know, milk fever, didn't want to get up, very lethargic acting. Started looking a little poor, and that's when we started testing after that. She was thick, she was heavy, she'd start losing weight, but we're pretty sure she aborted her calf. Hair, skin, and coat just start to look rough. Look like a cow that hadn't been wormed or hadn't been taken care of. Asian longhorns are normally a light reddish tan color, about the size of a sesame seed. A different shape and a bit smaller than most other ticks found in Arkansas. They often form large infestations on one animal in short order. It can kill by swarming the animal or by transmitting a protozoan parasite called thalaria attacking blood cells. The last cow I had, she had a lot of ticks on her. Don't know why, I mean, I've got, I think, 52 cows on this place here, and that was the only cow out of all the cows and calves that had ticks like she did. Clinical signs are gonna be similar to like anaplasmosis. You know, you're gonna see wheat cattle, down cattle. Um, you know, if you get up close to them, they could be pale, or they could be jaundice, either one, you know, the yellow color. Uh, they're gonna be breathing pretty hard, just kind of, Lethargic. Look um, particularly at um, the ears of the animals, kind of on the inside of the ears, under the arms, and under the tail or on the udders. The lady from the university, they, they were trying to figure out the timing of the year. They, up from like in the fall, you know, September, October, they found the Asian longhorn tick on cattle and they found them as late as March or April. I think they're still trying to nail down the window, you know, like anaplas. A lot of times we see it in the fall in cattle, but the the Talia, they were trying to figure out, you know, when when it'd be most likely that we would we would see it. They say it makes them anemic, so I don't know if being low on iron and plus, you know, coming through a hard winter. We calve in December and January. When we had trouble was probably late winter, early spring. You know, cattle probably aren't in the best condition. They've been on hay for several months. Calves are sucking them down. 
in the large majority have calved recently, you know, and that, that's a lot what they're talking about is stress. It's stress related, you know, so they're right before they calve or after. So the last cases I saw, they had not calved recently, you know, but they end up, that was when they had a large population of, of the cattle that they lost. They, that, that particular farm lost 14 cattle. People are thinking it's respiratory disease because of the, they're lethargic, they're breathing hard, and it may be that it's the Tyleria, you know, and those younger animals too. So it, it'll confuse people because it'll show, it'll kind of mimic other disease processes that we've seen for longer and they've been more common. As though we've got a lot of cattle, I'd say, in the area that are probably testing positive for, and it's just a matter of if they've go through a stressful enough event for it to really take off and affect them. If you have something and you're not sure about it, I, I don't really see why people don't want to do the testing. Just knowing for sure maybe can help make a plan on, there's no cure, but management is key, and knowing the right way to manage helps a lot. I guess I've been doing it about 20 years. I don't necessarily think I've dealt with anything like this, you know. Obviously, we've lost cows here and there, you know. If you got them, you're going to lose them, but not like this. The USDA provides some relief for owners who sustain losses due to Asian longhorn ticks at their county farm service agency. They can get up to 75% for dead cattle through the LIP or Livestock Anemone Program.